everyone's rushing to become an AI engineer right now. The salaries are insane. And honestly, I get the hype. But here's what nobody's telling you. Most people are learning completely the wrong skills, which is why they are not landing the AI engineer jobs. So in helping Fortune 500 companies on their AI journey, reading and writing books on AI, analyzing 20 plus courses and hiring at tech companies, I have created a seven step framework to learn AI with the focus on landing a job. I also show you the three courses that I recommend based on my seven step framework in this video. So stick around or jump to the courses. 95% of AI courses are teaching you to build neural networks from scratch when companies really need engineers who can take, let's say GPT-4 and build production systems with it. It's like learning to forge steel when everyone needs architects. So today I'm exposing this massive gap between AI education and what companies actually hire for. Plus the only three courses that will get you job ready now. So here's the brutal truth, the reality. AI engineering is not machine learning. Traditional ML engineers built models from scratch. AI engineers take the foundational models like the GPT-4, Claude, and Llama and adapt them to solve real problems. Now this shift happened around 2020. Before that, you needed PhD level knowledge to build anything useful with AI. Now, a skilled engineer can build chat GPT level applications in weeks, not years. I analyzed 200 plus AI engineering job positions from different companies, only 12% wanted someone to train models from scratch. 88% needed engineers who could do prompt engineering, build rag systems, fine tune existing models, and deploy them at scale. But here's the interesting truth. Universities and most online courses are still stuck in 2019. They're teaching back propagation when companies need engineers who understand transformer architectures, attention mechanisms, and inference optimization. The results, a massive skills gap. Now companies can't find qualified AI engineers despite thousands of people taking these ML courses. It's not about intelligence, it's about learning the right things. So what does a world-class AI engineer actually know? Well, after studying the careers of engineers at OpenAI, Anthropic, Google, Microsoft, DeepMind, I have identified seven core competencies that separate the pros from the wannabes. So competency one is foundational models and the mastery. You understand how transformers work, not to build them, but to use them effectively. You know why GPT-4 is better at reasoning than GPT-3.5 and how attention mechanisms affect context windows. These are the types of things you need to know. Now, competency two is advanced prompting. Now, this isn't write a better chat GPT prompt. It's really that you understand in-context learning, context engineering, chain of thought reasoning, few shot versus zero shot learning, and how to systematically improve the model's output with the data that you already have. Now, competency three is RAG systems. You can build retrieval augmented generation systems that give models access to proprietary data, vector databases, embedding models, semantic search. This is where most AI applications get their competitive advantage. So you got to know how to use this. Now, competency four is model adaptation. When prompting isn't enough, you know how to fine tune this model. Parameter efficient methods like LoRa, instruction tuning, preference optimization. You understand these things and when and how to use each of these techniques. Now, competency five is production deployment. Your models need to handle millions of users. You understand inference optimization, quantization, 
batching process and hardware acceleration. Now this separates demos from real products. So you got to know this because companies are looking to hire people who can build applications with these models for production level scaled system. Competency six is agent systems. Modern AI doesn't just answer questions, it takes actions. So you can build agents that use tools, make plans and handle complex multi-step workflows reliably. And you know how to connect different tools and data with your agents and know how to connect your agents with each other, just with MCP, A2A protocol, things like that. Now, competency seven is evaluation and monitoring. Now, this is that secret weapon. You know how to measure model performance, detect its failures, and create feedback loops. Now, most engineers skip this part, which is why most AI projects fail. So companies are looking for people who can not just build a system with AI, but they can also run it at scale and then monitor and make sure that this system continuously functions. And that's where monitoring comes into play. Now, here's where most people go wrong. They see these seven competencies and they think, I need to learn everything at once. That's a recipe for a tutorial hell and analysis paralysis. The secret is strategic sequencing. Master one competency at a time, in the right order, with the right resources. Now that's why I spent months finding the courses that actually teach these skills systematically. Now most courses fail because they either go too theoretical, endless math with no applications, or too shallow, superficial overviews without depth. The courses I am about to show you hit that sweet spot between practical applications and knowing the theory and the concepts. After testing 20 plus courses using my seven competency framework, only three made the cut. I scored each on theory, depth, engineering practicality, and current relevance, learning effectiveness, and then the job market alignment as well. Now, number three is Andrew Wang's Generative AI for Everyone. This is your foundation. Andrew taught millions of people machine learning, and now he's doing the same with AI. But this isn't just theory. It bridges the gap between understanding AI and applying it strategically. Now, you will understand how LLMs actually work under the hood, master the systematic prompt engineering, and learn to identify real AI opportunities in business context. The weakness of the course is it's a little light on hands-on coding, but as a foundation, it's unmatched. I would score it 9.1 out of 10 on my seven parameters. Now, number two is the Data Camp Associate AI Engineer Certification. Now, here's where you prove your skills. This isn't just a course. It's a rigorous certification program that includes timed exams and a four-hour practical where you build a complete AI application from scratch. Companies like Netflix, Airbnb, Spotify recognizes the certification because it tests real skills, not just multiple choice questions. You get portfolio pieces that directly demonstrate your competencies to the hiring managers. I would give this 9.3 out of 10 as a score on my seven parameters. Now, number one is DataCamp's Associate AI Engineer Track. This is a complete package, in my opinion. 26 hours of hands-on training covering all seven competencies that I mentioned. You will build RAG systems with vector databases, fine-tune models with LoRa, deploy applications with proper monitoring, and create agent workflows with tools. What sets this apart is the progression. You start with foundational models, build up through adaptation techniques, then tackle production deployment and monitoring. Each module then builds on the previous one systematically. Comprehensive score for this one, I'm going with 9.5 out of 10. Now the genius combination, 
I would take them all three in sequence. Now, Andrew Eng's course gives you the conceptual foundation, DataCamp's track gives you the technical skills, and the certification gives you the credential. It's a complete transformation from beginner to job-ready professional. Now, here's your exact roadmap based on your background. Complete beginner, start with Andrew's course to understand what AI engineering actually is, then dive into DataCamp's track for hands-on skills and finish with the certification for credibility. You maybe need three to four months for this. Experienced developers, you can skip Andrew's course and go straight into DataCamp's track, then immediately tackle the certification. Your programming background will accelerate your learning and the timelines could be about two to three months. It's not long. Now, career changers from business to non-tech, Andrew's course is essential for you. Spend extra time on the foundational concepts before moving to technical implementation. Now, don't rush this phase. This is probably going to take you four to five months. The key insights from Chip's book here, data-centric AI beats model-centric AI every single time. So these courses teach you to think data first, which is exactly how successful AI companies operate. Remember, AI engineering moves really, really fast, as we know. The courses that I'm recommending are updated regularly. Andrew's course updates quarterly, I think. DataCamp updates monthly. Avoid any courses that haven't been updated in like the last six months because things have changed quite significantly in that time. Now, let me be honest about what you're getting into. AI engineering is not just about technical skills. You need to understand the business context the ethical implications, and how to communicate with non-technical stakeholders. Extremely important. The field is incredibly competitive right now, as you all know. Everyone wants these high-paying jobs. But here's your advantage. Most people are learning the wrong things, like I said earlier. By focusing on these seven competencies through the right courses, you will skip the crowd. Expect to spend about 10 to 15 hours per week for three to four months. This is really not a weekend project, but it's also not not achievable. You can do this. Start building projects immediately. Don't wait until you complete all your courses. After Andrew's course, build a simple bot, a simple agent. After DataCamp's RAG module, build a document Q&A system. Portfolio beats certificates every single time. Now, I've linked all three courses below. If this video saved you months of research and thousands of dollars, smash that like button. It genuinely helps more people find this content and it tells me that you're liking what you're seeing from me. And if you're looking for an AI engineer step-by-step -step guide, I did a video recently and it's linked here. Drop a comment below to tell me which course is meeting your specific background and I will see you next time. Bye.